guys, welcome back to one from GobbleTech.com and today I have a really really cool theme called iNeonox HD This is a really really awesome theme made by my buddies here called uh, it goes by the name of iPhoenix and Jack Star. They're really cool guys to follow guys so first I'd like to thank them for sending them out this giving me this theme to review for free so big shout out to them go follow them on Twitter, the links will be in the description bar they're really cool guys they help you out whatever you ask them and yeah so this is the theme guys basically I and Neonox let's go, let's go ahead and jump into the home screen the lock screen really quick and guys as you can see it's a really really simplistic lock screen you do not leave lock screen clock height to hide your lock, your clock because the the clock goes right into the lock screen and makes it look just complete and um this wallpaper is given to me, uh, given to actually all of us. You can find an i file and wallpapers in the theme folder itself. So you can go ahead and save this picture and set up with your lock screen via photos or wallpaper settings. And um, that's basically how the lock screen looks like on the top part. And um, when you go to the bottom, let's look at the slider. The slider looks absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's uh, maybe a high detail. And um, you can see there's a tiny lock there. To represent the iPhone is locked on the slider, and if you slide it, it whoa, especially in the background, um, there's this really cool drift, makes it look like as if you're like sliding with a really nice uh, feel to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it, and um, this is the keypad, looks really really nice. Uh, just whatever, screw that. Uh, so just ignore that for now. As you can see, the keypad is all themed, everything is themed, really nice buttons there, and um. Uh, also, uh, what does it say? Uh, where you enter the digits are also themed as well with a nice uh, light blue to match the theme. And um, when you press the button, it comes out as blue, so it makes it look matches the theme again. It's a blue kind of gray effect. Really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this to show you the home screen. This is the home screen, guys. Looks really, really nice. Um, again, all the icons are made a high position and detail. And, um, I'm kind of surprised that uh, this theme is actually pretty unique because most themes nowadays are all not really square, but they're all like either rounded, uh, rounded the edges or just complete circle um, or different kind of shapes. But most of them are usually square nowadays. Uh, home screen buttons are really really nice, and um, the wallpaper uh, that's it has been provided by provided by um, both iPhoenix and JX Store. Uh, you can find there's two sets of wallpapers. I think you can find it. Um, I file via the theme folder, so go check it out. There's two sets. Uh, this is one of them. It looks really nice. It's kind of like a shelf thing to to make it look like your icons on shelves. Gorgeous. And again, it's blue and black to match the theme again. So really, really nice. And um, let's go ahead and jump into the status bar. And again, uh, it's fully black, so it makes the status bar look transparent and visible. Really nice. Uh, Wi-Fi logos are themed. So you can see with the three dots there on the top, and it's how you spell I Neonox, by the way, if you didn't know that. And um, the time is not really themed, it's just default white. And um, the battery is themed as well, all themed, including the numeric digits and the battery itself. And um, let's go ahead and jump to the badges. Badges are themed right there, as you can see, the uh, number one right there. And um, folder icons are also themed as well, as you can see right there looks really nice and um folder enhancer also has his own theme in this theme really nice folder enhancer and um your dock is also theme as well matches the shelves again this is part of the wall this is part of the uh <laughs> this is part of the wallpaper itself so yep and um Spotlights also themed as well. As you can see it's blue, not usually the really white one, the white uh, default iOS. So that's basically the home screen, guys. Let's jump into the next part of this theme. Now we'll be taking a look at the media section of this theme. Really, really nice media. As you can see, that's one of the loading screens. That's actually the only loading screen for this theme. It's really nice. And um, this is the iPod for the media section and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous icons are themed really nice rounded icons um, the top bar is also themed for every part of the media and uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and play a song. This is how the media section looks like. Really, really nice. Uh, sleeky. Everything theme except for the airplay again as usual. Nothing, no theme as the airplay button theme yet. Uh, all the icons are themed. Really, really nice. But I wonder um, why the repeat and shuffle button aren't themed. I think it'll probably come to the next update. Uh, I'm not really sure. And um, but the sliders and stuff are all themed. Even the play, um, forward, repeat, uh, backward button, all themed. And um, this list button is also themed as well. And the list is also themed. Really, really nice. And um, the more buttons themed with a little nice blue there to represent that more. Again, everything is themed to this from the arrow buttons as well. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video section of the media. Let's go ahead and take a look at my videos. Yeah, it's a recent video. And as you can see, everything is themed. Nice and gorgeous media player for the videos. Really nice. Done buttons themed as well. Uh, the extend buttons also themed. The books, the history thing is also themed as well. Play and pause, repeat, forward theme, really nice. Airplay buttons not themed again. And um, mail buttons themed as well. And as you can see, when it's buffer, it show you a really nice uh, loading, loading, <laughs> sorry, loading bar for the iNeonox theme specifically. Compared to the default iOS, where it's typically, I think, uh, let me think, I think it's blue or white or something like that, I'm not sure. Whatever, but I know this uh, different from the iOS. And um, that's basically the media for iNeonox HD. Let's take a look at the next topic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Messages app. It's a really cool Messages app. Uh, so you can see that's the keypad where you enter your, for example, you have something locked in your iPhone using Loctopus or uh, some other default, uh, some other lock program on your jailbreak your iPhone. This pop-up comes up, really nice pop-ups, themed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my passcode. Whoa, wrong. Right there, loading screen again. And I'm going to show you, uh, there's the messages. Really, really nice uh, message. As, as you can see, everything's themed. Red to represent the, uh, the other person you're texting, send the message. A blue represents, um, that's you. As you can see, the wallpaper is also themed as well. Really nice. Blue and black and blue again to match iNeo Docs HD. And the messages icon theme as well. And the edit button is also themed. Let's go to the, to the bottom. And um, everything's themed from the really nice uh, insert media button right there. And um, send button and the bar where you enter your text is also themed as well. Really, really nice. Let's go ahead and jump into the where all your messages are. Everything's themed from the top bar again. And um, that's basically it. Let's go ahead and jump into the next section. Now we'll be taking a look at some default apps by Apple. So let's take a look at the calendar first. Nice loading screen again. So you can see everything is themed with position and detail. Everything is themed. Really nice. Blue again. Black and blue. All headers are themed. Uh, everything. Even the day, uh, date and the month. Black and blue again. And that's basically the calendar. Really, really nice and gorgeous. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Photos app. Nice loading screen again. Again, everything is themed. Really nice. Uh, albums, places, icons, all themed. Top bar again, everything is themed. Let's basically the Photos app. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, some of the other apps like Compass and stuff. Compass, uh, super steam. Yeah, it's steam as well. Really nice. Um, black and blue again. Nothing much to say. Everything's steamed. It's a compass. Let's take a look at the calculator. Everything is not themed. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. So I guess it'll probably come in the next update. Let's go take a look at the clock. 
I would have to say this is one of the best uh, clock themes out there for this uh, default app by Apple. And um, as you can see, it's really, really nice. Um, the blue, I think, represents that it's at night, and the red represents that it's a morning over there, the city. Really nice with some with some dots at the side to make it look even sleekier. Um, again, the dots again for the clock. And um, the steam as well. Nice, nice, nice looking nice. And um, even the stopwatch steam as well and the timer. Nice. That's basically the apps, default apps by Apple. Again, there are many, many default apps by Apple. I don't have time to show them all. So let's go ahead and jump to the next, next step. So let's go ahead and jump into the UI of this theme. I'm going to go ahead and show you the App Store. As you can see, that's the loading button right there. Really nice loading button. And um, as you can see, all the icons are themed with a really nice UI. And that's basically the App Store. Go ahead and jump to Safari. Screw that message, by the way. <laughs> so everything's themed in this Safari. Back button. Uh, if you're on 4.2.1, you know what this is. And um, 4.3.3, sorry. And um, that's the history. Nice button as well. Safari download manager is themed as well. And the tab button. Nice tab button. So you can see the background is also themed. Really nice UI right there. In the bottom, new page, private browsing, and done is also themed as well. Really nice UI. And that's basically the UI, guys. There are many, many UI for this theme. I just I don't I don't have the time to um mention them all because there's so many. So and go ahead and check this theme out, and you'll see all the UI. Let's go ahead and jump into the next step. This theme does not come with any SB settings. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it'll come in the next update. So this is the SB settings you get when you download SB settings. So um, it's not the, by the way, it's not the iNeonox SB settings. So there's no SB settings for this. There is no color keyboard to this as well, or eye access, which is default iOS. So that's really surprising. I hope this will come in the next update as well. And yeah, so. That's basically all the parts I covered for iNeonox. So if you want to check out this theme in Cydia, this goes for quite a high price for about two forty nine in the Cydia store. You can also, you can also find in the Themeit store. Um, I think they should lower the price down just for now because um, for what they have, there are, there are cheaper themes out there that have uh, more items uh, in their theme like SB settings and color keyboard. So I think it's pretty high price. So they should reduce it to about one nine nine. That's why I say, uh, depending on what they have, maybe they'll include the others in the in future updates, but I don't know. I'm just saying. So um, again, I'd like to give big thanks to iPhoenix and JXStar for sending me out this theme review. Uh, big shout out to them. Again, the Twitter links in the description bar. And this is iNeonox HD. Go check out the studio. Really, really cool theme. Don't forget to subscribe for more theme reviews like this. Uh, comment what you think about this video, any suggestions and improvements on the future theme reviews. Rate this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.